Hello everybody, welcome back to Blues Focus TV for yet another full-time match reaction video. It's good to be back, obviously with the World Cup break, we haven't filmed one of these in a while with Blues not playing, but we did travel away to Blackpool this afternoon and sadly came away with a nil-nil draw, only picking up a point on the road. Now I say sadly for a few reasons, I think firstly given Blackpool's position in the league and the way they've started the season, shows we should be doing better if you want to push on this season they haven't won in their last five as i said second bottom in the championship so i think if we want to be aiming for that top six or that top 10 we should be certainly beating teams like that and i think secondly given the way we played in today's game we defended well don't get me wrong and we kept the ball well at times but we created an awful lot of opportunities for ourselves and we missed opportunities and we had two disallowed goals which i think is the most disappointing from a birmingham perspective but we started very well in the game. Obviously, Tahifa Chong had that early one-on-one -on -one chance, a nice through ball from Hannibal Mabry. And Chong chipped it in the one-on-one -on -one position, which I really like to see because, don't get me wrong, I think we missed Hogan today and I'll get onto that in a little bit. But often Hogan in his one-on-one -on -one positions just does look to smash the ball, whereas Chong looked to chip it over the keeper, which I really like to see. In my opinion, the best attackers in the world often chip. And when they're in the one-on-one -on -one position, they see the keeper go down and they know that's what they need to do. So Chong went for the chip and sadly hit the far right post, which was really disappointing. Uh, we obviously thought that would be the opening goal, but it was nice to see us start on the front foot, as we often do under John Eustace. But then again, we did have another opportunity to score our first not too long later. A corner taken, uh, landed to the feet of Mark Roberts and he fired it over the bar from less than five, six yards. And that was a really disappointing one for me. That one should be converted Nine times out of ten, no matter what position you play on the pitch, whether you're a centre-back, whether you're a striker, whether you're a midfielder, you've got to score from that position. So two early opportunities uh, for Blues to go a goal ahead and both were sadly wasted. But we did manage to score towards the end of the first half, Maxime Collin uh, with a nicely placed finish. And we had two disallowed goals, as I mentioned. The one in the second half for me was probably fairly disallowed on first glance. I actually haven't watched a replay back, but on first glance... Um, it was a bit of a scramble, but you could tell players did look offside. Um, but certainly for the first goal, the first goal seemed really, really harsh. As I said, Colin tapped it in from about eight yards out. But the reason it was disallowed was because Tahifa Chong seemed to be in the keeper's way. Whether Chong is in that position or not, there is no way the Blackpool keeper would have saved that. And for me, it didn't look like his vision was too badly obstructed. Everything happened so fast. It's not as if he had time to react and potentially make the save whether Chong was in his way or not that goal it would have gone in anyway so um really unfair by the rule book sadly it probably should be disallowed because if a player is obstructing the goalkeeper's view then the goal's disallowed um but the fact that even if Chong wasn't in that position it probably still would have gone in makes it really really frustrating so Really unfair from a Blues point of view. I can see why Blues fans are so upset about that. I'm very upset about it, um, but not the end of the world. Obviously, these things happen in, fo in football. Poor refereeing decisions uh, are made on a regular basis, so it is what it is. But we went into the second half, and I've got to be honest, things quietened down in the second. Uh, neither team really grabbed hold of the ball too much. It was quite a scrappy affair, I'd say. Um, as I said, we did have that late goal disallowed. Um, it was just a shot from the left-hand side and seemed to come off a Blues play. And not sure which one it was. Might have been Djukovic. Um, but obviously, whoever it came off did look in an offside position. Maybe on second glance, maybe watching it back, um, it might not be. But certainly from first look, it did look offside. So I can see why that wasn't allowed. Um, but I think it's just really disappointing that we had two disallowed goals this afternoon. Obviously hit the post as well. And Mark Roberts missing from such close range. How we didn't win that game is absolutely beyond me. I think we really did miss Scott Hogan, to be honest today. I can only assume he's injured. Um, but Hogan's been fantastic so far this season. Not only in the goals he's scoring, but the way he's playing around. Um, his hold-up play, his ability to move the ball, create chances for us. So I think Hogan was certainly missed today. Um... So hopefully, if he is injured, which I assume it is, um, it's not a long-term injury and hopefully he can get back into the lineup soon. As I said, I thought defensively, though, we were good. We were pretty solid. We very much limited Blackpool's chances. They hardly had a sniff at our goal. Um, so I thought defensively we were very good. And just to mention Longolo, I thought he was brilliant again today. Both Longolo and Colin, actually, the two wing-backs were brilliant. And they both combined really well for the first, first disallowed goal. 
um, a really nice finish from Colin and Longolo did brilliantly on the left hand side to work himself some space fought defensively the two wing backs were good as well as the free in defence Ruddy as well did everything he had to do today midfield wise I thought we were good Hannibal and Bielik obviously I don't need to talk about them because they have brilliant games every game Fort Bakuna looked a bit weaker today to be honest he was okay um, but I thought a little bit sloppy at times and a little bit wasteful in front of goal. And then the two strikers in Chong and Dini, I thought, again, they did OK. But it's just a shame some of the chances we missed today. Obviously, Djukovic came on as well and I thought he looked he looked all right when coming on. I think today was just an Im immensely average game. I thought we played well, but parts around it were just average. And hopefully we don't start slipping into these old habits and... You know, it's the first game back after a long break. I didn't expect us to come out firing today. Um, as I said before the World Cup, I think the breaks come at a poor time for us, which it has because we had really good momentum. We were doing so brilliantly. But, you know, it's a point on the road. You know, we last season we very rarely got anything uh, when playing away from home. So we'll take it. It's a decent point. Um, it puts us, oh, I think it puts us into 14th. So we were 13th. We now uh, in 14th position. We've obviously got Reading next week. So it should be an interesting game next Friday, that is. And um, we seem to have a lot of Friday night games at the moment. But St Andrews under the lights, you can't really complain too much. But hope you enjoyed today's game despite not winning it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Keep right on.